In this video, we are going to continue with the equation of a straight line. And in this case, they will give you two points on the line. You will find this on page 311 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6 c. Let's look at example 13. And I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Find the equation of the straight line line which pass through the points A and B. Now in this case I'm first going to work out the gradient. Remember they don't give me the gradient, they don't give me a help line but I can work it out. It's the difference in Y over the difference in X. Now I just substitute and I get 5 and then I substitute 5 and then I take one of the points. I can either take this one or I can take this one and then by substituting it into that I'm just getting that the value of C is negative 21 and then I just put everything. I want to just show you this method. You can also follow this method. Now in this case this is point 1, this is point 2 and it's almost like point 3 is XY. Okay, but doesn't matter. If you do this method you're going to start, this is very important that you start with this statement. And I'm just going to, there's a line, maybe you cannot see that. Okay, there's just a line. So basically, it's just going to be y, just y, not 1 or 2, y, and I subtract the point 1. And then y2, and I subtract the point 1. Okay, so basically, I think it will be better understood if I make a point just x, y. Okay, so then it's y minus this point, y minus this point, because it's on a straight line. And then by just, so it's y minus point 1, y or x minus point. So remember the gradient is difference in y over difference in x. And then I just substitute that point. And then by cross multiplying, and just put a bracket there, then you can cross multiply, because then it's one term equals one term. And if you cross multiply, you will get this. And then by just rearranging the equation, you will get exactly that. So if this one is better for you, you can follow this one. But I'm going to concentrate on this one, because this is the ones that's following on the other videos. Okay. And then the same for this, and now it's just another point. Uh, I just find the gradient, I substitute the gradient, and I substitute one point. You can either substitute this point or this point. You will get the value of C is minus a quarter. And then I just put everything, the gradient, the y-intercept, and I put it in the y-intercept format. And the same again, it's again that you create a point x, y, and then it's that point minus the point minus 1 and then it's this one minus this one. Did you see? That's why it's this 2 minus 1 because it's on a straight line. And then I just simplify and I get exactly the same. I think in this video I'm going to do it like this. I want you or I want you to stop the video and I want you to do just number A but I want you to try to do it on both methods. It's If you struggle a lot, just do one method that you are more familiar with. But if, you are, if, if it's coming very easy, then try to do it on both methods. Okay. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller to create space. Okay. I'm going to just do number A. And I think, let's see if I can put a line here, and then I try to fit it in. Oh, I want to use the ruler. This is the ruler. Okay, so let's just start. Um, so the first case, the points, what will be the point? It's the point A, and that's 1 and 5, and the point B is minus 2 and negative 4. And don't forget, this is x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, now if I do this method first, I'm first going to get the gradient. And can you remember? Difference in y over difference in x. So the difference in y, it's going to be negative 4 
minus 5 and it's going to be negative 2 um, minus 1 and that's going to give me an answer of negative 9 over negative 3 and that is going to give me an answer of 3 okay so this is going to give me 3 then I'm just going to put it in so I start again with the equation I say y equals mx plus c now I put in that 3 now I like to put it just to help you a little bit to see where I substitute it and then I'll oh, take the first point it's always better to take a positive point than a negative point so then I'm just going to say in the place of y I'm going to, this is y is 5, can you see there? So it's going to be 5 equals 3. And what is x going to be? That's going to be 1. It's going to keep it like this. So 5 is going to be 3 plus c, subtract 3, subtract 3. So it's 5 minus 3, and the value of c is 2. So if I write the equation, therefore y is equal to 3x plus 2. As easy as that. Okay, now I'm going to try to do it on this method for you. Or not try, I'm going to do it for you on that method. Now I think what we can do, let's just do it just to keep a little bit of our space saved. Going to, it, this is my points, but it's almost like I create a point which is just x, y. Okay, and now because this is on a straight line, it's almost to say like the difference in this or the, this gradient will be equal to this gradient. Okay, so if I'm starting here, I'm, I'm starting with this formula. This is very important that you just start, oh, I'm just going to use a ruler. Okay, it's not a ruler, but it's going to work. So remember, it's just gradient, so it's always y, so it's y minus y1 x, remember always the same here, minus x1. And that, because it's a straight line, that is going to give me, then, remember, it's the difference in this. So it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And now it's basically just substitution. So leave your y, okay, but your y, oh sorry, your y1, where's your y1? There it is, 5. This is your x, and what is your x1? That is going to be 1. This is uh, y, so this is going to be negative y2, negative 4, minus y1, that is going to be 5, over x2, negative 2, x1, and that's going to be 1. Okay. And now, I'm just going to simplify this, so keep this first. And this is going to be negative 9, and this is going to be negative 3. And can you remember, by putting brackets, I create one term. So now I can cross multiply. And I'm just going to use another color, that you can just see. So it's negative 9, x minus 1, equals negative 3, I'm just going to get my battery. Okay, negative 3, and then this is going to be, okay, let's just see, the battery was disturbing now, Neg and it's y minus 5. And this is going to be negative 9x plus 9, and that's negative 3y plus 15. And now I'm just going to rearrange, take this one over, so negative, oh no, positive, it's not necessary to write the positive thing. So it's 3y, okay, and I'm taking this one over, so it's 9x, and this is the 15. This one comes over minus 9, Let's just move it up a little bit. So it's going to be 3y equals 9x, and if you say 15 minus 9, that's going to be 6. And by simplifying it, I divide the everything by 3. So therefore, 
y non divide free is 3x plus 2 and check this is exactly the same so you can either follow this was method 1 and this was method 2 the one that works the best for you